What's up guys, Anna here, and today I have two reviews. One of them is going to be in another video, and one of them is of the Ego C. So, yeah, um, long story short, about two weeks ago, I got this little thing from my vapes, I believe, and it only cost me roughly $17. So, yeah, this is the Ego C, or also known as the Ego Twist. It is variable voltage, and... Its performance could be better, it's so-so, and with voltage, as you know, it makes everything hotter, thus burning some um, juice, so I've had mixed results with it, but with what I have right here in my lap, um, that's going to change in the next video, and has completely changed. Alright, so let's get started. So, first off, starting off with absolutely nothing on the top, it's a standard Ego threading connection with... 510 it looks like there's some juice in there that's not a good sign but who cares um and yeah the uh bottom portion here it's not passed through yeah i got this from my vapor store and as you can see if you could see let me try let me try seeing this myself i can't even fucking see this um yeah this is one of the downfalls of the uh, ego scene i'll get to that in a second so as you see that little dot represents the voltage you're on and the numbers obviously represent the voltage it, yeah that you're dialed to so right now it's at 3.2 and it goes all the way to 4.8 but at the with the stuff I have it's definitely gonna burn at that point I have Kanger T3's low resistance about 2.3 ohms so that's probably why I don't have anything higher than that but yeah so, yeah, it goes all the way up to 4.8, no more, but it can go less. I can go to, like, uh, 4.0. And the one thing I absolutely hate, and I'm pretty sure everyone else agrees with me on, is that you cannot see the numbers unless they are in direct sunlight. I am not even kidding. Yeah, that's one of the things I hate with this thing. You can barely see it. Like, they're written in silver. It could have helped them more if it was written in black or something, like bold black. Yeah, that's the Ego C is all right if you're desperate to get into the variable voltage craze, but I honestly don't think you should go there. You should probably aim for something more like uh, the Vamo. Well, we'll get to that in a in the next video. So yeah, how does it vape? Well, let me show you if I can get the thing on here and get that hair off. Do. It screws on like any other Ego threading. You can put almost anything on here. Hope to, And if you uh, really want to kick out the variable voltage feature on here, I suggest getting something high res, like in the range of uh, 3 point something. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Right now, I just set it to 3.2, so let's see how it vapes. Yeah, pretty weak. If I increase it to uh, four point, no, it's going even further. Let's go to uh, four point two. And yeah, there's individual notches here too. If you could probably see that. Yeah, there's notches there that also represent the voltage, but you have to be, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to tell what voltage you're on. Right now, I just set it to four point two. Yeah, it's a lot more substantial voltage yeah, vapor with this and not much burning and I do have all I also have uh, juice reviews to do I have tsunami blackberry no not blackberry blueberry and then I also have uh, techie sig Turkish blend which I'll be doing very shortly so yeah um what can I say about this um like I said if you're really desperate to get into the variable voltage craze, the Ego C is probably the way to go, but I don't recommend it because it, unless you have something high res, then go, come, go all, by all means, go for it. Um, there's not much else I can say about this from my own personal experience. It's an okay device. Um, 
things could be definitely improved on here. Uh, for one, the markings on here could be bold black or freaking hot pink. I could care less as long as I can see it. Right now, you can barely see what voltage I am unless it's in, like I said, direct fucking sunlight. Or as I like to say, my camera LED. Now you can see the marks. And if you can see that pretty well, it's on 4.2. Let's give it another vape. Yeah, not that bad. I honestly, from my own personal experience and opinion for the Ego C, I give it a 7 out of 10. This definitely could use some major improvements from my standpoint. Other people who have this device would probably beg to differ with me, but that's just, just how I feel about it. So, until next time, I'll see you guys later. And as always... Keep on vaping.